Munchkin, come on, my little munchkin, come on. No, not you. I meant this. <laughs> So, we're talking about Steve Jackson again. And we do mean the Munchkin one this time. Magic! Or you know, not. Munchkin is a dungeon crawling card game for three to six players where the main goal is to see how many friends you can lose by the end. Actually, it's a card game where you each control your own little Munchkin. And you've got to make your way to level 10 by betraying the other players, murdering monsters and collecting better and better gear. Basically, just like a real dungeon crawling a CRPG. The version that we have here is actually the deluxe version. Usually, it doesn't come with the shiny board and the different character figures, but whilst these extras are nice, they don't really make or break the game. That would be hard to do since the game is so broken! Oh my God! No, but seriously, Munchkin is a little broken at best. It's got very simple gameplay that makes it perfect to teach people with little modern game experience, but it also means that it's not hard to fiddle around with the way the game works to win almost every time, assuming you get lucky and that no one else knows how broken the game is. The main point of the game is to fight monsters, gaining levels and treasures as you go to make yourself stronger. Each turn you kick open the door of a new room in the dungeon, and then you have to deal with whatever you find inside. Sometimes it's a monster you have to fight, sometimes it's a misc card you can pick up and use, and sometimes it's a curse, which can go and screw itself. The combat is pretty simple. Basically, when you pull a monster, it will have a number, and all you have to do is make sure that your own number is higher than theirs, usually by making sure you have enough gear equipped. You also have two other options at your disposal. You can apply certain cards from your hands to add bonuses or effects, or you can try and make a deal with another person to help you defeat the monster in return for an agreed upon amount of treasure or levels. This is sort of where the friendship ruining aspect of the game comes from. Whilst you have cards in your hand that you can apply in battle to help yourself or your friends out, you also have a lot which can be used to screw with the other players. Whether you choose to help or hurt your friends won't matter too much at all. A bit like some Mario Party games, the winner is kind of random. A player can go from level 4 to level 10 in a single turn if they end up drawing the right cards or saved up a whole bunch of these dumb level up cards and then play them all at once before beating an enemy and winning instantly. Honestly, when you're playing the game you get the sense that it's something of a joke, or at the very least it is not supposed to be taken too seriously. A lot of the cards have in-jokes or silly little digs on them, like the stoned golem. Get it? He does drugs! Even the rules can't help but trying to be funny, and seriously, we do mean trying. Decide who goes first by rolling the dice, and arguing about the results, and the meaning of this sentence, and whether the fact that a word seems to be missing any effect. Mm. <sighs> Witty. The artwork is pretty cool. It's all done by John Kovalik from The Dork Tower, and it really suits the style of the game, i.e. not all that serious. The game is super simple, and easy to both teach and learn. A bit like Azul, but with less industry awards. No, no, we're not doing that anymore. Yes, as we were saying, it's easy to pick up or to get your friends into. This makes it a really good gateway game for people who want to get into modern games if they've only experienced old school family style stuff before. I have a lot of friends whose first modern game experience was Munchkin. I mean hell, it was one of the first things that I played while I was at uni. That is, assuming that we don't count the games of HeroQuest I played against myself as a kid. Yep, childhood was still sad. Munchkin isn't exactly the best game ever, and whilst it suits certain situations like trying to get your nan into playing Aldrich Horror, the game is very basic and doesn't really hold much appeal. On top of that, the game can end before it really gets going, and if you get super unlucky, one player can get all of the good cards and just rush the board, or I guess the dungeon. You can probably have fun with Munchkin if you don't take it too seriously, or if you're all drunk out of your skull. Honestly, playing it sober gets old pretty damn quickly, no matter how many expansions you add to it. If you try to play with all of them though, the decks will probably be bigger than most of the players. So our score is 6 confusingly named American game designers out of 10. Wow, that's a convoluted scoring system. Who came up with that? Thank you for watching our review of Munchkin. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. If not, you were cursed. Now you have a chicken on your head. Wrecked!